How you doing guys? I'll be well. A beautiful dish this week. It's got a fine dining flair. Um, salmon with potato scales with a asparagus puree. Very clean um, with an asparagus salsa. It's got a bit of a technique, a little bit of skill, a little bit of patience, but I think you'll get it. Grab the asparagus and remove the tips and place them in a bowl. I'll be using them later for the salsa. Now, just roughly chop the asparagus. Also, use the woody ends. Fantastic for purees and soups. They produce a lot of flavor. For my puree, I just used two ingredients, spinach and asparagus. That's it. I just wanted it nice and clean. Spinach for the greenery and two, the asparagus. That is it. I didn't put any garlic in there or any onion. I just wanted it fresh, simple and tasting of asparagus. Add the asparagus to boiling water and cook until tender. When tender, transfer to a bowl. Next, add spinach to water and blanch for about 30 seconds. This is just to add more green to the puree and then transfer to a bowl. Add the asparagus and spinach to a blender and blitz until smooth, about 30 seconds. Grab a bowl and a fine mesh strainer. Add the puree and push down with a ladle. Puree should be nice and smooth with a beautiful green color. At the end, stir in sodium bisulfite. And also for my puree, and this is totally optional, I use some sodium bisulfite, just a small pinch. A small pinch goes a long way. It prevents foods from browning. It's great for green vegetables, keeping that green alive. Uh, it's great for avocados. It's great for artichokes, um, apples even. Stops them from browning. Good stuff. And you're probably thinking, does it alter the taste? No, and it's safe. Stir in the sodium bisulfite, season to taste, transfer to a pan, and then keep warm. Now for the salsa. Add olive oil to a hot pan, add the asparagus tips, followed by a pinch of salt. Now cook for about four to five minutes. When cooked, transfer to a bowl. Next, finely dice onion, remove the seeds from the tomatoes, and finely dice. Finely diced jalapeno for a little kick, some chiffonade basil, some apple cider vinegar for some tang, olive oil, give the salsa a good stir, season to taste, lemon juice to taste, stir well and place in the fridge. For my fish of choice, it has to be salmon. It's just my favorite. Sea bass also works fantastic with this dish. Also, remove the skin, you don't need it. For the potatoes, I'm using bite-sized. They just work. Top and tail and peel. You definitely need a mandolin for this. You could slice them by hand, but make your life easier by using a mandolin. I'm cooking a 10 ounce filet, so about two potatoes should cover the fish. You want the slices pretty thin. Next, brush some melted unsalted butter over the salmon. This is to make the potatoes stick. Add a good pinch of salt, now overlap the potatoes so they look like fish scales. Again, add some melted butter on top, followed by a pinch of salt. Now get the pan on a medium heat. I'm using a good quality non-stick. Use the fish slice to lift the fish. Now carefully, and I mean carefully, put the fish in your hand. Press the fish, potato side, onto the pan. Now place back on the hob. Season the other side of the fish, add olive oil on a medium heat, cook the potatoes until golden brown. Should take about five minutes. This is the tricky part of the whole dish. Carefully with your fish slice, turn the fish over. Hopefully the potatoes haven't stuck to the pan and are a beautiful golden brown. Now continue to cook the fish to how you like it. Now let's plate up and serve.